So in this video, I will show you the HTC camera and gallery app that have been ported from HTC devices and these work on almost all the devices that are running on Lollipop or above. So I will do a quick review and then I will show you how you can install this on your phone. So we'll start off with the camera application. The name of the applications will be camera and gallery only because they are the native applications for HTC phones. The interface is exactly like the one on HTC devices. You can change between the different modes by swiping from left to right. Or you can also select the button on the bottom left to see all the modes that you have. So the modes are shown based upon the sensors that your phone has. So if your phone doesn't have the compatible libraries or sensors, then the mode that requires those will not show up. I have all the six of them and only the bokeh one doesn't work properly, but the rest of them work just fine. So you have the selfie mode, the camera mode, the photo booth mode. In split capture, it captures the back camera first and then the front camera. So it will capture both of these one by one and you can change the layout by using the scroll bar. So first of all, I'll capture the back camera and then it shows me the front camera. I'll have to capture that also. And if you use the selfie mode, it's just the front camera and it will only capture the photo from the front camera. In the photo booth mode, the camera takes multiple pictures and shows you in a slideshow. In the camera mode, it's the normal camera. There are a lot more features in the camera, but I will let you try all of them yourself. And we'll switch to the gallery now. The gallery is named as just the gallery and you also get a photo editor with it. I will show you how the gallery looks like. This gallery is also ported from the HTC device and the interface is exactly like you see on HTC devices. You can choose between the different layout options you have for the feed or the timeline as they call it on HTC. You can open and view all these photos and I like the photo editor that this application provides. And you get a lot of editing options in this gallery application. You have all these filters, then you have these tools. And if you swipe from the left, you also get flare and other effects. And the touch up menu is basically for selfies. I will show you some quick effects in this. To be honest, I love this element feature and I use it a lot. These are different elements to your photos and it also color corrects your photo to match the scene. So if I select dandelion for example, it will show various dandelions on my photo and it will also make the photo zoom out a bit. So it looks like a video. I find the bubbles one the most realistic one. There are a lot more features in the gallery app and the camera app as well. I will let you try all of them yourself. And if you like this application, let me know in the comment section below. I'm also thinking of making a video on ported camera applications. So you can answer the poll and let me know if you want a video or not. And now I will show you how you can install these applications on your Android device. So the installation is very simple and you don't require root to install these applications. So first of all, you need to go to the settings menu and here you need to go to the security tab and select unknown sources box if you haven't done that already. So now you are ready to install these applications. You will have to download the two applications from the description box below. And after you've done that, you will just need to open any file manager application. And if you have downloaded the files using your mobile, it would be in your download folder. You will just need to install these one by one. So I'll first install the camera application. And then I will install the gallery application. So after you've installed these, you don't need to do anything. It will just ask for some permissions. You will have to grant it. So if you like the video, you can subscribe to this channel because I keep making videos like this. And you can also watch some previous videos of mine.